The Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago recently held a retreat at the Cruising Hotel for him and his cabinet ministers, paid for with your taxpaying dollars. At the end of this retreat, he suggested that he wanted to reach out to the opposition leader and write to her, asking her to have talks about the crime situation in Trinidad and Tobago, as though they don't see each other almost every day in Parliament. Now, to the average onlooker, this may seem like a pretty good thing, but the rest of Trinidad and Tobago knows this man pretty well, and they know that he's a pathological liar. Take a look at this video, guys. We will not cooperate with the government of Trinidad and Tobago on any matter. We will isolate them for as long as they're in office until they leave office. Does this sound like a man who genuinely wants the best for Trinidad and Tobago? Or is he simply reaching out to the opposition to show that the talks have broken down and negotiations couldn't go any further? It's time for the Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago to stop playing these political games. The murder rate is headed towards an all-time high and people are dropping like flies. And it's not his people, it's your people. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below.